So we've now covered all of the 24 bus outputs and shown how they can be configured to be either aux sends or subgroups. And we've looked at how we create matrix mixes. So let's have a look at how we can add processing to those outputs, whether it's EQ, dynamics processing. Let's have a look at how we do that. So in the both rows section, I'm going to select output processing. This now maps controllers to all 24 of these encoders. The top section here is the same as when we were working with the inputs. It gives me a four band fully parametric EQ for every output on the console. The lower section here has a compressor and there's a, a delay for the output, an AFL trim and a balance control. These buttons over here have various functions. The first one is for EQ in and out and then there are also things like routing to the left, right and center buses. There's also a phase reverse control and controls for inserting the compressor. So we can see that for every bus on the console, that's 35 buses, we can add a four band parametric EQ and a compressor.